Hi, this is Mary Burnett. I am going to show you our 2007 Coach House 221XL Platinum. Uh, I'm in the middle of washing it, so this will kind of be in segments. Uh, I'll start with the engine. And it's a little wet. I've been cleaning. It's got a new Die Hard battery. Uh, it's got a Ford Econoline V10 engine. So it does get about 9 to 10 miles to the gallon. So if you keep it under about 65. It does well in the mountains with that extra energy. We've had it up over 13, 14,000 foot mountain passes out in Colorado. It's never overheated and it's never missed a beat. It's a good strong engine with uh, 57,200 miles on it. So I will go along and show you the right hand side of the RV. Here's where the slide comes out, and I'll show you how that operates. Um, you have to have the parking brake on and the engine running, and then there's a hydraulic panel inside, and uh, I can show you how the slide operates in and out. It's hydraulic. Here's your storage underneath. It is lit, and it does have uh, four drain holes in it since I just rinsed it out. Uh, there is the hand crank for the awning and here we go down the right hand side the left hand side you've got dual tires in the back all seven tires uh, have been purchased in the past two years it's been driven every few weeks so we don't end up with uh, dry rotted tires which was what was on it when we purchased it three years ago uh, there's your external power, there's your hot water drain, and uh, the two valves here are the air ride uh, fire stones, kind of air shock levelers that are brand new, they were just installed, there are gauges inside, they're set right now at 80 pounds per side just because we're full of gas and we're full of water. There is your hot water drain cold water, there's city water, there's a light, there's an emergency shut off for your propane, uh, black water, tank, telephone, uh, LP connection is the yellow one, there's where you store your hose, but ours is too long so we're going to put it back in the cubby, there's your fresh water connection, there's your sewer outlet, or liquid waste is, sorry, is gray water. Body waste is black water. You have <coughs> gauges inside to tell you uh, how full your tanks are. You always dump the black water, the body waste first, pull the handle out, and then you, <coughs> then you dump the liquid waste. Um, since I washed it last, there is a slight bit of fiberglass damage back here on this left bumper. I'm not sure where I caught that, but uh, that was not there last time I washed it. Uh, around to the back, you've got your spare tire back here. You've got a nice rear window. You do have a backup camera that's wireless. Uh, you have to use an app. and. Uh, Pretty sure that still works. I haven't used that recently. But that is the back and the left side and the front. And I will come back around and give you some more history. There are a couple of dings uh, right here underneath the mirror that were not there last time I washed it. They're small but they are little chips in the paint. Uh, you do have your, I forgot what it's called, uh, which is the, uh, the boot that goes along the surfaces to protect the, uh, the front end. It's along the hood. As you can hear, the engine is running. It's nice and quiet, uh, but it's diamond shield protection. I started to try to take it off, but it was a lot of trouble. 
Uh, if you've got spare time, you can take it off. But see how it comes along the front and that shield comes around the sides just to protect it from rock damage. Okay, this is the end of video number one. I'm sure if you got this last video of the switches and all, you do have a curtain that slides all the way around the cab up over the windshield, all the way around, so privacy at night. I didn't show you the, um, the blinds, but all the way through out um, both sides and the back, kitchen's a little different but you do have the shades that come down where you have a little privacy and then you have it where they come down and they're darker you've got that uh, over the door over the window the dinette over the back you have an aluminum blind here over the kitchen and you've got another one of the dark light shades coming down over here, depending whether you want just a little light or you want it really dark. Uh, and again, the, the blind the drapes come all the way around. You can see the header up underneath there um, and end up back over here. Let me go back outside. I think I showed you the light switches. Um, you got all, and the one in the very back is on a separate switch by the water heater. But you got one where it goes half on, where you can do just the front and no back. All from this middle position or both are on. Um, Number two, as I come inside, here are the air ride um, shocks that I was telling you about in video one. And as you can see, the red one is number, is the left one, and see how I can pump it up, put the pressure in there, I can put it down. Uh, I would always service it before you head out, and then every tank of gas, I always check it and make sure none of the air has bounced out of it. Uh, I'll come up here right now, you do have a flat screen. Uh, TV, you've got uh, a Pioneer receiver, Sony Blu-ray player, uh, all the connections are back behind the TV, it does fold and swivel, and I'm going to turn on this hydraulic room and extend this bed out. See how it's moving out? I'm not going to let it out quite all the way because I'm still trying to wash it. But that's how the, uh, the slide goes out. It's with the hydraulic room extender. You put it on, engine on, parking brake on, and uh, engine running. Uh, everybody ask about the, uh, the sofa bed. Here is, uh, you can put it down either when it's uh, with, with or without the slide. We usually don't put the slide out when we're traveling. I have this terrible fear that it's not going to go back in. Um, it has been fully serviced. The slide has new motor, new fluid. It's running just great right now, as you can see. Here's how the bed folds down. You got one that goes forward. I'll push forward and it comes out. I'll push down and it comes out. As you can see, go back. So it does make into a good size bed. The dimensions should be on the website. Uh, you've also got extra lights that are battery. Here's the one for the slide, and here's the one for the dinette. Okay, um, I think that does it for now. I will go back outside and do the other side and then come back in and see what I missed. Uh, I did hook up the um, Sony Blu-ray, it's Bluetooth, I take that back, Bluetooth, or you can do the phone, there's the hand-free microphone and audio, CarPlay works just great, um, air conditioner one's great, that's normal, there is a Max AC, it's cooling off really well, uh, like I said, the engine has... 52,759 miles on it right now. Um, it's full 
gallon of gas. The parking brake is set. Uh, there is one thing that I've uh, been told by the uh, Ford dealership is not a concern. The uh, parking brake uh, park forward neutral reverse. Uh, they work just fine, but the indicator is not working. They'll have to pull out the whole thing just to uh, check the indicator switch. The uh, cable is just fine, and I've been told by numerous sources it is perfectly safe to drive it like this. Um, I do have seat covers on here because we have dogs. You'll have to look at the pictures on um, RV Trader where I pulled them off. The seats are not damaged, but I don't want to pull them back off again. Um, the leather's in good shape. You do have a dinette here. It does fold up into another bed. If you'd like to go ahead and look at the, um, the pictures on the uh, RV Trader, you take the, uh, you fold the tabletop up, you pull it out, you lift up the seats and uh, it just folds. As you can see how we fold it and lay it each side flat and that makes into another bed. I have a 30 year old daughter likes to sleep on that but she still needs something bigger. There's the bed. Two burner stove we've never used. Here's the Corian sink, the insert, paper towel holder. Um, you do have a microwave convection oven, uh, runs off of the batteries and the generator. Um, here's a test switch down below in the control panel. As you can see, the holding tanks are empty. Uh, as long as we have owned it, uh, we bought it from Gander RV in Atlanta. They cleaned everything out. We have never put paper or poop in their potties. So you've got fresh water, gas, batteries are all good and I'll get to those on the other side of the uh, RV you got a light um, you got a uh, exhaust fan generator is running 30 333 hours uh, there's a hot water tank and uh, the water pump which if you want pressure you got to turn it on either here or back here by the toilet, uh, you got a water pump, you can hear it running. It's right down here underneath the toilet paper is the pump. And uh, I'm going to turn those back off, at least the pump. You've got a dry, a, wet, a dry shower, so you have a whole separate dry compartment for your shower. You also have a door here, as you can see with the track, that the door slides closed so you have privacy in the back. Um, you have storage back here, hanging clothes. I've got two sets of um, I have two sets of um, plastic storage for things. I do have a spare set of um, door, uh, what are they called? Rubber door seals. That I was gonna put on just because, but I never got around to it. Uh, you do have your Halon O2, which is on since the generator is running right now. And um, you also have cubbies in the back. Um, we're in Florida. We have kept a dehumidifier running all the time in the back. So you have no smell, no moisture, no mold. You've got cabinets back here. Uh, you do have a light over the, t the shower here. Um, you do have a um, brand new refrigerator and freezer full size. As you can see the Paperwork is still in it. It's brand new. It works off of AC or gas. And it's nice and cold right now, but I'm going to turn it right back off. Uh, we also have a place up here. I have a, um, it's got an outlet in the back where 
where you can put your, um, there's a coffee maker that fits in there with the strap, but we're not coffee drinkers or use the microwave, but, but we do have a coffee maker that goes in there. You do have a hot water heater tank, and you do have um, air conditioning. You got air conditioning, heat, and you have uh, heat strips with the, um, the, the uh, LP heater. Um, and you've got storage up, up above all the way along here. And uh, leather's in good shape, cabinets are all in good shape. And let me go outside and get the other side. Oh, we do have two um, vents that automatically, I think they automatically close in the rain. This one does work. Uh, this one has power to it, but it does not work and I have not taken it in and just pulled it out and ordered a new one. I didn't want to pay the $300 that Gander RV wanted um, just to replace a small part. So stand by now, we'll go outside. Video number one, two, I know, three or four. Here's the side with the slide that we just looked at on the right hand side. And I forgot to tell you on the right side, here's the cabinet. This is where I've got your um, the brand new sewer hose that's going to be used. Um, right above where your water connections and all were, you've got um, your Next one, here's where the, uh, the slide with the bed, uh, sofa bed is partially extended. I'm going to go back in and turn it back off, close everything up on this side. Uh, as you can hear, the engine's running, no hiccups, no nothing. And uh, the generator is also running. Let me go back here. I'll open it up in a minute, let you, you look at it. It's back here. You can hear it from outside, but it was very quiet inside. So come on, let me come on back and uh, do the slide. You've also got up top, you've got an air conditioner, and you have a new um, wine guard, 9-4 Bravo. We'll have to look at the website, but it is brand new. It's just me. It, it runs off of a SIM card, uh, Wi-Fi or whatever you want to do with it. That's it.